फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज हु आई एम नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट आई वांट सो व्हेन यू गो टू ए पर्सन व्हेन यू आर लुकिंग फॉर योर सेल्फ हु आई एम व्हेन यू आर लुकिंग फॉर योर सेल्फ एज हु आई एम व्हेन पीपल गिव यू लिमिटेड आइडेंटिटीज that is not a teaching because that you can pick up by yourself when somebody tells you you are the limitless absolute then only it becomes a shastra that time it become the quality right type of teaching because it helps you to be yourself who you are same thing also what i want do you need to teach a child what should i want want lollipop you know ice cream toy then grow up balastavat kida sakta taruna stavat taruni rakta when you are a child you want different types of toys when you are a young man you want for a young woman this car house position all these things these things should you teach people what do you want ladu what do you want chocolate what do you want money what do you want car what do you want health what do you want a wife or a husband what do you want children these things do you need to teach children but when who points out to you that over this demand for these things what you really want is happiness that becomes a scripture giving you limited identity if that becomes ordinary our you don't need a teacher or a scripture mahadeva you don't need a teacher and scripture for you to pick up a limited identity limited identity you can pick up for yourself that i am a mortal i am dying i am different from everybody like the barber to consider himself separate from god separate from universe separate from mortality immortality and considering himself mortal just a barber by profession as an ordinary person does he need the illumination from the gurus and the scriptures it happens to everybody if at all you should if you have to know about absolute infinity so whoever points out the infinity in you whoever points out the absolute in you that book which reveals this or the bunch of thoughts which reveals these things that is the something universal good for everybody in this world same thing what i want in life how many things billions of things but over every possible type of want i want only one thing happiness one who points it out is a guru you don't need a teacher to tell you you must have this no you listen to some music hey very nice can i listen to it again yes you touch something very nice can i touch it again you see something oh, very nice can i see it can i taste it can i smell it very normal but when you are losing yourself in repeating that sensation of sound touch taste smell then you are losing yourself and this will make me happy somebody say no what you really want is not the sound for its own sake touch for its own sake taste for its own sake but for the sake of happiness like yesterday last talk in the, in the i finished up with that thing ask a person what do you want the person say i want education that is why i come for college no why okay i'm giving you a degree are you interested yes fine are you happy now no 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 but this job will but will this degree give me a job so what do you want not the degree but you want the job i gave you a job then you ask how much money that means you don't want job for think it for yourself a job for his own sake but for the sake of the money you want money okay i'll give you money is all in your name nobody can touch it including you cannot touch it what shall you say i don't want it why because you don't want money for money sake you want money so that you can have a house car swimming pool world travel everything okay i shall give you houses for four houses for four seasons car for any number of car any number of horses any number of yacht and everything swimming pool but you can't live in that you can swim in that you can ride those things interested no why we i want to re, you know ride use these things so that i can be happy so ultimately what do you want happiness in life 
Then in between somebody will come, somebody will come and say, these are material things. I'm not a materialist, I'm a spiritualist. I'm a religious person. I want God. Really? God never wants you. Did you get a phone call from God anytime? Hello, how are you? So why are you interested in God? For God's sake? For misery's sake? You want God? No, I want God. Oh, why? So that I can be happy. What other people are getting by hard work, I believe in God so that he can give me a lollipop. Because just because I believe in him, he's my uncle. He feels very, you know, I am a psychophant. I say, God, you are wonderful. So God gives me by my never working for anything but getting everything. So why do you want God? For God's sake. That is how you can see. How many people worship God, friends? Ask yourself. You go and pray. Let my mother be cured. Let my father be cured. Let my son get a job. Let me get a first class first. Suppose you happened, your mother passed away, your father passed away, or something somewhere, your husband gone, your wife, something happened. What do you say? Now God floats on the river. One family, I knew that. The person, somebody died in that family. When I went to see that family after a few days, the mother there said, Swamiji, I don't believe in God anymore. I said, Ma, you never believed in God. He said, what? What are you talking? You never believed in God? I said, never. Oh, you saw in our puja room, every day I go there. I said, you go. Yes, you have a puja room, you go there, but you don't worship God there. Oh, why are you talking like that? Suddenly she stopped crying. He said, why? How can you talk like that? I said, simple. If your husband is alive, your, your husband is cured, if your business is proper, your God is existing. If your business collapses, your husband collapses, your family collapses, God is dead. So whom are you worshipping? Your family or the God? Whom are you worshipping? How many people worship God? Nobody worships God. Think for yourself, friends. Even the people who sell God don't worship God. Suppose a particular God doesn't give any money anymore, change the God, change the statue. Change the statue. Put up this statue so that more people will come. Any anyway, friend, this is not the time for talking all these things. Think for yourself. This is thinking, friend. Thinking. That is why I told you, this thinking, is it a, it's not a spectator sport. Not many people can come here. Like a chess game. Free ticket you give, 20 people shall be watching it around the world. You don't have the uh, football, cricket, I mean all that stuff, what will happen? Millions of people, mindless. The, by chance you are a thinker, you can sit down there for a minute. Because what is this one ball, like that uh, Bernard was saying, 11 people this side, 11 fools this side, 11 fools the other side, 11,000 people watching it. That is his game, that's a thing. That does not mean useless. No, we have no business to say that, friends. Think of it, please. So if you ask somebody, what do you want? Why do you want God? God for God's sake? No, again for happiness sake. And another person says, I don't want this wealth. I don't want this God. I want to understand myself. I'm a philosopher. Look friends, why do you want to understand yourself? I don't want to understand what the existence is. Again for the sake of happiness. So that your conflict is resolved. So name it the language of secularism, happiness. Name it the language of religion, the God. Name it the language of the philosophers, the self. All the three are wanting the same thing. Tell me, sir, who wants anything different? Are you getting that? This is human. So don't say we are philosophers, we are all thinkers, we are all devotees, or we are only, you know, we, we, we want all the material prosperity. Are what all you want in whichever way? The language of the philosophy, language of the devotion, religion, language of secularism, happiness. Everybody wants the same thing. Everybody wants happiness in life. So one who points out that over the shoulder of every other thought, I want happiness, that is the right type of thinking. Instead of beating around the bush, you straight away go into the target. Happiness I want. So, two things. Who I am is the most important question. I must understand myself. Other person says, no, what I want is happiness. Now, if you understand what is the mechanism of happiness, source of happiness, suddenly you discover what you are looking for the happiness is somewhere in yourself. 
just theoretically, I'm just giving you the connection right now, then I'll go step by step. Since what I'm looking for happiness is nowhere in the outside universe, it's in myself. So when I'm looking for happiness, what I'm really looking for is myself. So when I look for myself, when I'm looking for happiness, I'm looking for myself. And when looking for myself, I'm looking for happiness. So know the happiness, you will be happy with yourself. Know the self, you'll be happy with yourself. Problem is resolved once for all. That is the ultimate.